Hi everybody, and today I thought we would do a really cool craft and make cloud dough. It's very similar to Play-Doh, just super soft. And all you're gonna need to make it is one cup lotion, one cup cornstarch, and then some food coloring dye so you can choose whatever color you wanna make it. Alrighty, so in order to get started, I do suggest that you put um, a placemat, wax paper, something on the table since we are going to be using food dye we don't want to dye the table um just to protect your surfaces placemats are great um just protect the table or whatever surface you're going to be using today Alrighty, so we're going to start off with the one half cup lotion which i've already put in my mixing bowl here after you have put your one half cup lotion in it that's when you're going to add your color and you're just going to add your food coloring uh colors to the amount that you want your color to be. Um, and I would like to make a purple today. So I'm gonna be mixing red and blue. Remember red, blue, and yellow are all of our primary colors. So since I wanna get purple, I need to mix the two colors next to purple, which are red and blue. If I wanted to make orange, I'd mix red and yellow. And if I wanted to mix things together to get green, it would be blue and yellow. So you can use this chart to decide what color you'd like to make. And remember, add the food dye uh, just as much as you need to until you get to your desired color. All right, so like I said, I'd like to make purple today, so I'm gonna start off with some blue drops. All right, I'm not gonna add too many just yet because I don't want it to be too dark. So there's my blue, here's a little bit of my red. I'm kind of hoping to get a lavender, so we'll see what happens. All right, now I'm gonna mix that coloring in with my lotion. I'm gonna mix it until all the colors have blended together. And actually, I think I used just enough to get that lavender color that I wanted. All right, I'm just gonna make sure I've gotten all the colors mixed together. I don't want streaks of red and I don't want streaks of blue. Just gonna get it into that nice lavender color that I was hoping for. What do you think? Do you think I got it? I think I got it. I think I got my lavender. All right, so since I've mixed the food coloring in with the lotion, now is the time that I'm gonna add that one cup of cornstarch. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that one cup of cornstarch right in with the colored lotion making sure you get all of it. All right, careful, it's very powdery, so pour nice and slow. And then I'm just gonna mix this together, all right, until it gets kind of lumpy. All right, gonna make sure all that color is distributed. All right, it's getting there. Getting it all together. Okay, almost, gonna get on this side of it. We're getting there, making sure it's all mixed in. All right, now I think I've got it. Now this is where the fun begins. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take all this dough and we're gonna put it on the table, on our placemat, remember, and we're going to knead it like it was a piece of dough that you were making pizza or cookies. And this might take, they said, up to five minutes, uh, depending on how, how hard you press it. Might take shorter, might take a little longer. It actually doesn't seem to be taking that long for me. So you're just going to knead it together. It is really soft, guys. Awesome. All right. Actually, I think I'm done. And now I have really soft soft and stretchy play-doh all right or cloud dough all right and i can make whatever i'd like with it maybe i'll make a snowman although it's it's kind of spring outside so maybe i don't want to make a snowman what could i make i could make a flower out of it so let's see if i can make a flower really quick since it is springtime we're gonna make a nice pretty little flower all right try to get some petals all right 
it's not perfect, but I still think it looks like a flower. Woo! What do you think? It's a flower. You can also get some cookie cutters, and you can do cookie cutters. If you have toy dinosaurs, you can flatten this out on the table and walk the toy dinosaurs through the dough just to see what their footprints look like. All right. You can do so much with this stuff. Okay. Now, when you are done playing with your cloud dough, um, you're going to want to get some plastic wrap and wrap it up in that plastic wrap so it doesn't dry out. And then put this cloud dough with the plastic wrap inside a Ziploc bag. You're not going to want to let any or very much air get to this stuff, okay? So after you've wrapped it up, if you go back and play with it the next day and you find that maybe it's a little crunchy, it's a little hard, you can just add a little bit more lotion into it, knead it out again, and it should soften up right away. Okay, guys? Well, I hope you enjoyed making cloud dough with me today. Um, I think I might make another batch, maybe another color, maybe green, so then I can have some leaves for my flower. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today, and have a wonderful day. Bye!